Welcome to Actually Controller, the podcast that is actually a controller, and we are actually in control of everything you are hearing right now. I'm so very sorry. Hi, everybody. How you guys Hello. doing? Hi. Welcome to, is it eventually controller? Actually controller. Eventually. Mm-hmm. Absolutely controller. Absolutely controller. <laughs> we eventually got to the absolute actually controller. Yeah. Yeah. I did it one time. They won't let me live it down. <laughs> oh, well. I have kind of noticed that. It's like <laughs> Legitimately. Legi- legitimately controller. Legitimately controller. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair. This is our new podcast. <laughs> to be fair controller. To be fair. To be fair. Uh, so uh, we're going to controller. Well, we have all five of us here. Um, Chad, right? Yes. Yeah, that's your name, right? Yeah, I okay. think so. You think so? And then who are you? Jeffrey. Jeff, he's the one we blame. Uh, I'm Bob. What and then you got Steve. And, and then Chris. And Chris, and he's the one that's always regretting it. <laughs> so am <in> today. <laughs> happy New Year, everyone. Happy yes, Happy New, New Year. Year. Happy New Year. I have a beer in my hand. You can treat this as a hair of the dog if you're in the same boat. Um, <laughs> ooh, um, to you. Yeah. Ooh, I, ooh. I, I happy 2024. It. Yeah. And uh, unfortunately, this will be our last podcast for a little while. Yes, we are going to take the month of January down to ty- kind of try to regroup on uh, the formatting, um, try to get some new ideas that we have for the podcast mm-hmm. actually put in place. Realistically, we wanted to take a hiatus because we've never done that, and that's such a cool word. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, legitimately. You, know, you mean like all the times you were in between drummers? You never. Took, oh. See, no, no, we actually, no, we didn't. We like, didn't work. legitimately, we were still recording. Yo, look offended. Look at this. If you, you should see that. <laughs> the, reaction. the reason why is because I honestly wish. I totally touched a nerve on that one. The, the reason for that is I think we all genuinely wish it was a hiatus because it felt busier when we had no drummer. Yeah. Seriously. Constantly than when we had a drummer. Right, so uh, this will be my last show. <laughs> oh, wow. oh, no. Speaking of shows, though. You wish it was your last show. <laughs> Speaking of shows, Speaking though. Of I'm going to be busy, so I'm going to quit. <laughs> 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 All right, ready? You're about to be a drummer. No, like, I know what you're going, but I... <laughs> you, you know where I'm Steve, going. Steve, <laughs> Steve posted a memory from when you guys were looking for the controller. Oh, dude, oh, that oh, thing has yeah. gained so much traction so can, because you come. Yeah, I saw that you he commented. sent it to me and I let it sit for a day. I was like, oh. I said, me, 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 me. <laughs> and there's at least half a dozen people are like, what? They thought What's going I on? What happened? Because they read his status again before they read the comments. <laughs> or the date. Or the date. Or the date. Yeah. Two Nobody years ago. Stating that attention. you're looking, if you'd like to audition, we'll see. So this next, this next show, <laughs> this next show, <laughs> should we announce that we found you as our <laughs> <laughs> That you where it agreed. all began. <laughs> that you finally agreed to be our drummer. So I like how you said that finally. Agreed. Finally yeah. agreed. They tried so, coaching me. Legitimately so agreed. <laughs> like, yeah, legitimately. No, absolutely. absolutely. Actually <laughs> agreed. <laughs> well, to be fair. <laughs> Here's the thing. So, so, so did, that I, we, did it really actually agree? Yeah, I mean, I mean we kept, you just kind of hogtied you. You just <laughs> showed up and just yeah. kept on showing up. It was so. forcibly. It was like, no, you're going to play the show. I'm going to make but, sure you play the show. Yeah. I mean, no, that was the other way around. You forced us to play the show. Yeah, I mean, it's like, realistically, <laughs> yep. wasn't it you that was like, hey, you know, we, we shouldn't close out the tour with uh, or we shouldn't start the tour with us playing in town but to wait out. we should play I want to close out at home uh, okay like the whole like homecoming like hey <laughs> welcome us <laughs> congratulate us roll out the carpet <laughs> like we probably need some gas money it just feels <laughs> it just feels like we'd be we'd be able to get people be like hey, yeah get out of here congratulate us to leave return. get him out <laughs> Yeah, like, when they're like, okay, yeah, you're leaving. Oh, thank God. Here's 50. <laughs> go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, is that all it takes? <laughs> I'm going to start showing up at people's houses. Here's 50. <laughs> like, hey, so guys, you, you want, want my band to go bucks. away for a long time? We need money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, as cool as it is to talk about that show, 
That's not the show we're here no, to promote. No, no, I'm just saying. He started talking that would be about full it. circle because I was technically hired in March. Yeah. So while well, we're at South by Southwest, it'll be like two. And years then you yeah, because we were trying to figure then, out right? what the announcement date was because the first get together for the first rehearsals for the show would have been. I think we figured out November. I think we get to announce that he's December? officially our drummer show. on our birth yeah. on his birthday. Mm-hmm. What? We get on your birthday. We're gonna announce that you're officially our drummer. <laughs> official. We would like to welcome have everybody like, officially what are, welcome. What are they? What are they? Called? In, interim, the interim drummer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Kind of we're like gonna go ahead and kick you out. Well, we've been such a lack of drummers. They're like, eh, we'll we'll tolerate them for you've a while. We've been our fill in for like two tours and but, a whole bunch of now, shows. But but now but now the driver. Yeah. <laughs> that's getting, the rub right there. Oh, that's what it was. <laughs> we hired now. He's we the hired driver that just so happened to play drums. And in the interim, he. Was playing drums for us and recorded with us, but he is now our official. I drummer. think if we <laughs> honestly, I think if we had a situation where we could do the bus, had had a full on driver, you still wouldn't be happy with it, Chris. You know? <laughs> you'd be, you would be the guy going, "Hey, you know, there's a little bit. Of we could be there control. quicker yeah. if you would let yeah. me drive." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can, can I at least? I mean, Chris, I, I, I love your face, but you'd probably be like, "No, dude, no, no, just yeah. get, you sit in the passenger seat. I'll drive." <laughs> So the Did you inform me like, you're you getting paid to do this driving thing? To then why don't you do it well? <laughs> <laughs> I never got paid. Are you seriously <laughs> driving listening to this? You're going to kill it. <laughs> <laughs> but um, to uh, kind of full circle this, though, we would have been at about the two-ish year mark, technically from first performance, yep. with you for this upcoming show that we have That's January true. 5th, celebrating. What did you say his name was now, Chad? What? Crystal what? Oh, no, I ain't saying that. <laughs> <laughs> you want to talk about getting flagged on every platform? That's so bad. That's bad. Yeah. That's, that's a bad okay. nickname. Okay. That bad so guy. Pre this, they were, they were calling me, near, well, Jeff. Christabel. Christabel. And I'm like, can you come up with something original? For so, my Chad did. Called everything. Christopher Columbus. <laughs> Chris Kringle. Chris. Oh, so I said Chris Cross. I was called Chris Cross. And oh. then jump up jump. With Chris Meth, yeah. man. So I leaned so. into it. And then Chad had one that he's, <laughs> he's too embarrassed to say now. He, it was in an illicit nature. <laughs> we'll just leave it there. Yeah, that, that, will, that, will, that will get everything flagged on every platform this goes out on. Crystal Math. Yeah. Crystal yeah. Math. Crystal very clear. Math. <laughs> very clear. If, if you need anything figured out, this guy is good with numbers. <laughs> I'm just going to say that. <laughs> so much so that he plays drums. Just call him Crystal Pepsi. He has Pepsi. the solution. Oh, Crystal Pepsi. We'll be all right there. Crystal Pepsi. Crystal. We'll call him Arizona. Arizona. Yeah. <laughs> what? That was the dumbest thing you've ever said. I'm sorry. I love you. I don't get it. Um, see? There's, there's a TV Arizona. show where... Yeah. Chris. Chris. All of the... The, the, oh. the math was man. Look, okay. I don't do pop culture. No, yeah, sir. we Breaking just have this. Yeah, Breaking Bad. I know the show, but that's about it. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Still don't get it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you didn't watch it. It's fine. I did. It's fine. Neither did I. But yeah, I know enough of it. <laughs> anyway, there's gonna be like three patrons. Is like, oh, that's funny, don't, Steve. Yeah. Don't, don't leave it up to Chad to come up with nicknames. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so but yeah. So so. January 5th? Yes, January 5th. January Pierre's. 5th at Pierre's. And not just one side or the other. We got all stages. The very first time in Pierre's history, they're going festival, festival style. Festival style. That's right. We're going to have nine bands. Is that right? Nine bands, two stages, one nine, ticket. One all ticket. Ages. $15 hit any of us up. Any if of us, any band. Um, let's see. So locally, I've got to get tickets to Modern Rock, who's doing Nirvana. I've got Faith in Nothing, who's doing some originals. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've got us. Uh, um, we're got Soda. Kind of original, I guess. Soda's got tickets. Soda. I'm trying to think about who else. Uh, Voice of Silas. I've got to get them tickets. Voice They'll have tickets. Silas. There's about five or six of them that are local that you can you can hit up and save those fees. Because mm-hmm. man, like fifteen dollar ticket is usually like six dollars in fees. Yeah. 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 It, save it, your money. It, if you uh, if you think about it, we all have merch. Yeah. You want mm-hmm. beer. 
Yes. Yes. These are all things that you could better spend that $6 fee on. Yes. So please hit us up yeah. so that way we can hand you tickets. It's not too late. If you are just watching this now, I'm sure we can accommodate you. <laughs> and we want you to save that $6 so you can come and spend that and $6. If you end up, <laughs> and if you end up hitting us up and saying that you need a large quantity of them, we might be able to work out well, a better deal, deal for you. So, so that is deep and sell them cheap. That is yep. the thing. So, <laughs> I, fr- 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 Friday. so since Duh. this this is about his birthday, I am going to throw this out there. Um, we've had two tours with this guy, and he drove us legitimately two thousand okay. miles plus. Setting no, up no, for no, each time. Time. No, and, and he probably didn't know that I was going to go on a tangent. Oh my god! About talking about how awesome it is to have Chris in this band. But legitimately, he has been awesome, and uh, I want to make sure that we throw a banger show. So January please 5th. come out and hang out with us. His porn addiction while he drives though is really out there. While I'm driving. While he's driving. Is yeah. that what you said up front? Yeah, I mean that's why Steve sat up front. Yeah, that's why those Steve well, fell right in on that one. Yeah, if uh, Steve were just fell in the book of the road, long drive, I might as well have some entertainment. <laughs> um, yeah, but, but the reality is, this is one They're of the, this will technically be now the what third second annual. Well, second annual at Piers. Yeah, second. But I always have a show for my birthday. Yeah, but I mean, this will be the third time that like a big effort has I think really truly been put into it yeah because the first year you had maybe not necessarily the same level of uh promotion I put into the it first year we didn't really advertise it as a birthday show right but it's it, just a soda show yeah but you still had kind of done the <laughs> hey let's i, I want to have the celebration <laughs> geared around my birthday time and then uh that would have been, you know, when you almost flipped over things and stuff like that. But yes, it happened one time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But then it kind of grew its own legs and got a little bit more serious last year. I mean, legitimately, so his birthday has actually, been happening truth, every year. The reason why the it got big last year was because of vengeance. And I will leave that on the table. But I decided I'm going to throw a show and there will be people there. Ah, nice. And there were. I think there was like five or 600 people when it was all said and done. Yeah. yeah. We did have, uh, oh, okay. is it Omar Epps, the comedian? Yes. He was at the comedy club, like up the hill. So like we got a little bit of overflow from that. So that was kind of nice yeah. at the very, very end. I will um, say, actually, one of my coworkers was at that comedy show. And then came Hit over. me up. And he's like, is, what's going on? I'm like, I'm down the hill if you want to come over. He's like, okay. Him and his girlfriend came over after the show. Nice. So it was also the sweet ball. So we were competing yes. with that, and yep. a lot of them came out because um, the headliner, uh, well, the, the band right before us was a Rage Against the Machine tribute. Yeah. Who um, half of a lot of Sweetwater employees worked there. Yeah. So they they had some people come. They went. They went and got their free gala tickets. Their swag, and then yeah. they came out. <laughs> yeah. Then they came out and partied. So yeah, yeah this year is uh, it's big. Uh, I put my put my faith in a, a promoter who um, I absolutely love. Um, he's done right by every band that I've been in. Yeah. Um, he works out of the Chicago region, and he's actually bringing one of his groups. Um, so we're going to have nine bands. There's going to be two stages. $15 gets you into both. And uh, the main stage is going to be chock full of tributes. So what, much like a festival. Yeah. Not that I don't appreciate local music, because I absolutely do, uh, but all the big names that you know, like Nirvana, uh, Rage Against Machines, uh, Breaking Benjamin, System of Down, and Corn, those will all be represented on the main stage. And then on the side stage, we've got, from the South Bend area, we got Beyond the Fathoms, and then yep. Controller will be second, and then <coughs> Our Friends in Faith and Nothing. Yes. yes. Uh, and then the Metal Powerhouse, Voice of Silas. Yes. They're finally fully re-equipped yeah, with, yeah, with a, a full lineup yeah. again. Yeah. So excited to see them. They, they're, they're fully back up and running again. So the awesome thing about this show, so Nine Bands, it's going to be nothing but wall-to-wall music. So there's uh, unlike some of those big festivals where you have to pick and choose who you're going to miss or like what set you're going to cut out of 10 minutes early so you can get to the other side of the, the field or wherever you're at. Um, it's going to be nonstop music from 6.30 until, I think, about 12. Yeah, I, th- yeah, I think it's, as, as it said it was first, like 12.31, wasn't it? Eh, 12, 12.15 or 12.10. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and as soon as the first band's done on sta- on the main stage, it flips right away to the second stage, 12.10. Okay. Uh, and and it it's is, nothing but music nonstop. And it is an all-ages show, so you can bring the kids out. Uh, and fully inside of the building. 
Yeah. All transferring yeah. between the that stages is indoor. Because it's to make sure that we didn't have to walk outside and yeah. we had miners able to walk through. Uh, so they got a way to sequester the bar area legally so miners can walk through. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a great time. I know if, if you've if you've never seen Freak on a Leash, those guys absolutely embody and bring corn every single time. Yes, uh, they're building a great following here in Fort Wayne. Um, I've seen Phobia, the Breaking Benjamin tribute. They're pretty good. I'm excited um, to see them. Yeah. They're pretty good. Um, Inconvenienced by the system, absolutely crush it every time I see them. Um, yeah, the, the rage I against knew the machine guys. Hundred percent that I wanted them on the show. Um, and then Moderate Rock is representing Nirvana. Now, uh, name dropping a little bit, Jacob Kitchen has posted a lot of videos of him yes. playing guitar, and that's how I realized he was doing the project, uh, as well as Joe Benton on drums. So nice. um, I don't know any of the other players right now, <clears throat> but, but interested to give them guys a shot. Fabulous musicians from here in the area. Yeah, they, got, they all have more than enough uh, credit under their own oh, belts individually. Experience. Mm-hmm. So... Uh, I'm excited to check out. Now, Beyond the Fathoms has already come to Fort Wayne a couple times. So they played uh, venues like The Ruin, um, which I think is really it. Because I think they played Skeletons prior. But they were actually, I want to say a week and a half ago, they were at The Ruin. So they'll be coming back for my birthday. And uh, they've got a they've, they've got a good following happening. So nice. I don't know if it was Beyond the Fathoms or just their one guitarist's old band. But I know we've worked with components if not of that band uh the band directly in south bend before years ago yeah um and if if you're into the heavier stuff a little more of the tech i wouldn't go to the extent of calling it math uh metal or anything like that but they, they got they got a little bit of the progressive side. The progressive side attached to it, but they're also heavy. So if you're if you're in the mood for something a little bit heavy to kind of kick it off on the original stage, they're definitely going to satisfy. You obviously know what we have to offer. Um, yeah. You know, Faith in nothing. They've been developing new material. If you don't follow them closely, I they love their been, energy. Uh, yeah, yeah they've away. been developing new material and. As, and great guys, just straight up. Oh, yeah. As of the recording of this, I just saw a post on their page. They're tracking drums for, I think, four additional new tracks right now. So I'm not going to sit here and say that I know for a fact, but I'm saying there's a good possibility they might be pulling out some new material that they have not aired before, possibly at the show. I'm excited to see Voice of Silas on a stage again. I love those guys. Mm-hmm. They're great. And they're, they're, I'm, I'm excited to hear their new drummer and how that works out and yep. fits in because they're just fabulous. Yep. They were searching for a while. They were actually supposed to be on the Michigan Metal Fest last year yeah. and had to cut out within like three days prior to because yeah. their drummer like tore a ligament or something. Yeah, it wasn't oh, a he wasn't available. It was a he full he, injury he down and out. Yeah. Up. And yeah, it was just so, too close to, to have a fill in. So totally worth like seeing though seeing them live it, but they put on a clinic it's to awesome. clarify you get all of the everything that we're talking about for fifteen dollars yeah for that's $15. actually a really good deal so hit up anybody we mentioned but if not hit us up first so yep. that way you we can sell you a ticket for 15 bucks and you can come hang with us because i, I and I I want to emphasize this. There's a lot of attempted startups of local festivals, which I'm happy that are happening, that actually have less bands on it yeah. than what this show is going to have. <laughs> and though we're not really advertising it as a festival, which we probably, if this happens again like this next year, we're probably gonna, should yeah, be advertised that way. But this year, it, you are... Well, I'm not even your saying your name, but still cool. advertise it as a festival. <laughs> this right. year, though, you are cordially invited to a... To the Chris... The festival. The Chris... Call your birthday. Crystal yeah. Math. The Chris the Crystal birthday. Math Fest. <laughs> but no, for real, like, to his point, um, we've obviously... Uh, Fort Wayne is growing with the tribute scene. Mm-hmm. I know b- whether you boo or yay that um with it brings a lot of talent a lot of opportunity we controller has played several tribute shows as openers so there's definitely a lot of cross contamination there where it's like a lot of uh, well i mean we we (laughs) pollination is what you're doing we're teabagging each other up man (laughs) (laughs) Um, we impregnate one another that's why i said pollination there it is well and and Actually, one of our uh, cover band, one of the guys playing my cover band, has now joined a tribute band over in Chicago. So nice, definitely cross contamination. <laughs> yeah, 
uh, because we just we're and we're all good friends. It's good dudes. Yeah. Um, I don't think there's and a it, single band on this bill I think that's got ego or anything. That's so. the that's the exciting part is that it's so many fabulous musicians that are all like family. Come Please come out mm-hmm. and uh, hang out with us because it's going to be an all nighter, and I would love to see your face. And you will have an opportunity to get from stage to stage. So I don't want everybody to yeah, freak that, out and be like that is a I, big deal. About I, I'm this. not going to have that opportunity because there's going to be one band starting while the other one's finishing now there will be no crossover on that so don't yeah. worry about that so if you really wanted to see we're gonna make you walk the from Nirvana one and one that- room to the other all night and you're gonna love it so to steve's point um I, I would like to make this we had talked about with our label about doing something in the summer finding a venue or a place to do something festival wise and I, I don't know man if we can make this if we can pull this off whether it's an internal inside festival or outdoor festival like that'd be pretty nice i know that yeah. uh piers um entertainment center has the ability to do an outdoor stage yes it might be a little costly at, at our level yeah. but at the same token like the right bill the right lineup could do it so come out and support the show not just because it's my birthday i'm not really too concerned about it being my birthday do it for it's always birthday. a stupid excuse to throw a party right yeah, so yeah. i just want to play birthday. some music and um party with my friends and a lot of the musicians that i have a lot of passion for what they do um yes. so from top to bottom it's gonna be some great music but in, ter- in regards to yours, the more you help and the more you support this, the more we can possibly push to our label Curtain Call Records that this is the feasible, good way for us to do instead of a summer festival when everybody else is running it, we can actually possibly provide a good winter festival option. And realistically, I just want to party with you all. So come Breaking on out, grounds, man. I love your guts. Well, yeah, come, I mean, come hang out with us. That's a good point. So, like, you know... We are a semi-large market. We're like 109, I guess, in the nation. I, I've I've heard. That's um, amazing. And we do get a lot of big name bills, like with. And, and obviously, this is not where I'm going to be able to go with it. But you know, we got the Coliseum. If you got every once in a while, you have the state, the Tin Cap Stadium. Well, we have right. years complex that could definitely host things like this on a reg- on the regular. So if we get enough participation. Um, I've got a good enough relationship with a couple of promoters as well as management that we could do this again. Do you guys on the like regular. to party? Do you want to throw? Yeah, a if you party? if Let's you want together. this to become a regular to where we can provide this, regardless of birthday connection or not, right. if you want us to possibly be able to provide you a festival that gives you an option during the winter months instead of the summer where you're and i get it i'm in the same boat where you're feeling conflicted of what one do i have the time to go to what one do i have the the availability and the finances to actually participate in i get that completely and we all we all know this if you live in the midwest you end up with the cabin fever come dead middle of winter. Is this true? This might be mm-hmm. one of those opportunities for us to give you something to look forward to. And we're here in town, so you don't got to drive so far. Yep. And if we can keep this up to where everything just runs between the two stages and we can connect it, you don't have to touch whatever the gross weather is outside for almost six hours. Oh, yeah, you can stay inside. And- <laughs> yep. Stay inside, drink, party, have a great time with all of us. So it starts, let's see, I th- I'm going to do this from memory. I think doors are at six. Uh, and it's going to go back and forth. So because I have the lineup in my brain, it's going to opening the stage. Main stage will be Moderate Rock, a tribute to Nirvana. Yep. Uh, and then the, on Stan's room, we're going to have Beyond the Fathoms. Right. And anyway. it's going to keep going back and forth. So uh, on the main stage, you end up with Inconvenience by the System, a tribute to Rage against the Machine. Then you end up with Controller on Stan's room. Uh, the main stage has Fovia, Breaking Benjamin. Uh, and then Stan's room is Faith in Nothing. And then the main stage, you have System of Dying Angels, Soda, a tribute to System of a Down. Yeah. Closing Chris out, is in that band, too. Closing out Stan's Room uh, is Voice of Silas. And then closing out the night and the main stage is Freak on a Leash, uh, Chicagoland's premier uh, tribute to Corn. Now, they actually played a song, I think, with Monkey or somebody at one point. They did something huge that was on a local Chicago news station. Oh, wow. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but I do remember it was like a huge, massive thing for them that they got some exposure. They actually That's got really somebody cool. from wow. the inside yeah. camp. Um, that was really cool. 
and to give everybody a little bit of context as far as time frame of everything, for the most part, you're going to be sitting, with the exception of uh, when Soda and Freak on a Leash play, uh, you're going to be at least 25 minutes to about a 40 minute set for everybody. Yep. So nobody's only going to be on for like 15 minutes or anything yeah. like you you're get getting with a the, full the show. big festivals and everything. Yeah. Everybody's going to be there for you to actually get a full set, mm-hmm. be able to actually fully immerse into that band's offerings. You are correct. I think all the locals are at a 25 minute cap. Uh, and then the, um, with the exception of soda and freak on a leash, uh, 40 minutes for the, um, tributes Mm -hmm. with the two getting the hour. Uh, and that was really, I struggled with that. I was talking with Ed, the the promoter and we were, I wanted to give all the locals 30 because I feel like 30, just the extra five minutes feels better. Um, but we really hesitated to do that because we didn't want to overlap. Yeah. And and so I think doing without the overlap makes sense. Yeah. yeah. And that's what gives all of you the opportunity to actually have time to get between the stages. As well as go get a beer yep. or whatever else. Or yeah. go walk up to anybody's merch table because... Yeah. Everybody just, is going to have merch yes, available. Just like any festival, you still need to give your ears a break, and you might want to sit down and, and chill and yeah. so, veg and come visit so the bands and buy merch. Please come hang out with us and, and hang out and celebrate. So I'm going to put this out. I am not planning on partying and getting completely incoherent by the end of the night. <laughs> for two <laughs> reasons. One, I do play twice. I play with controller, yes. and then I turn around and play with soda, and yes. I've got to tear down and load out, obviously. But also, the very next day, I'm actually traveling out of town. and I He's do doing a big deal show that I won't lie. <laughs> I won't lie. I I'm pretty jealous deep. of. I wasn't going that deep. I just want to make sure pretty people Pretty jealous do. of. <laughs> Wait, but I don't want a tray of shots brought to the stage or anything like that. I pretty don't, jealous I, of. <laughs> <laughs> all right i'll be back Pretty actually jealous. i might not I, no, if not i love seal. you so yeah i did real quick though to like kind of add on but <laughs> kind of close this up um this might be one of the only opportunities you get to see us before we head out on tour we don't oh. currently have anything else booked for sure oh. so if oh. you want to actually see controller this might be one of your only opportunities until march for yep. sure so, do not miss your opportunity if you're interested well, in hanging with us. There, so, we'll we'll go deeper with that. I mean, what, the conversations we've been having is trying to get out there a lot more regionally. Um, so, hometown shows are going to become a lot more sparse. Yes. Not that we don't want to play Fort Wayne, but obviously the goal is not to continue to play the same venues. Uh, right. and not that we do. I, I mean, it's stumbling over our words a little bit, but... We definitely want to play more, and in order to do that, we can't do it in Fort Wayne. Yeah, there's only so much. As big of a market as Fort Wayne is, it's only so big. So in order for us to play regularly, we can't always be in Fort Wayne. So no. with that being said, we're we're. it's not that we're not going to be here in town, but as of right now, the way that next year's calendar is looking – we're very rarely going to be actually playing in Fort Wayne. Um, so January 5th. January 5th. Yep, nine come see us. Games, two stages, $15, all ages. Uh, if, you, if you're if you watching this on New Year's Day, right? So happy New yep. Year's. Happy New Year's. Uh, if you Sorry you got a hangover. Christmas, if you forgot your Christmas gifts, we can save your ass with some tickets to this kick-ass show yes um some stocking stuffers or whatnot and be like oh yeah i've got i've got this party yeah, i'll be like oh no, no 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 no, i did i just forgot to bring them on christmas day here you go <laughs> yep, yep. Um, i had yeah. these oh, i did yep i just forgot to bring them i forgot to bring them so just come to the show and i'll hand it off to you <laughs> you don't even need to make a separate drive over to whoever's house it is yeah. just be like hey meet me at the venue i got your ticket january 5th beer's main stage and yes room Mm-hmm. Chris Collier birthday bash. Yes, nine bands, two stages, full festival style, first time Pierre's history. Let's make this the full permanent winter festival for Fort Wayne. Let's go and help festival. us convince our label that this is what we should do. And come possibly see us before we head out on tour in March, because you might not get another opportunity to. Mm-hmm. So we will. Uh, we'll talk our next single with you there too. <gasps> yeah, what? and on top of that, we're gonna be running hella deals. On all of our merch that we currently have. Nice. We're going to be kind of doing a blowout on all of our current merch. So, yeah, we're going to blow it all out. So, (laughs) blow it wild. All right. I think we're done. We're beating the bush. Yeah, we're we're beating the bush. (laughs) 
Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> we finally got a Jeff back to say goodbye. Right, well, thank Are you. Are you trying to hold my hand? Hey, Chad. I How's love it going? your guts. Yes, oh, we're so soft. We love your guts. And we, we hope to see you there. Happy New Year's. Happy, Happy New, New Year's. Year. Sorry about your hangover. Have a hair of the dog. Feel better. Get some water. Take some Advil. And we'll see you on Friday. Thank you. Uh, this has been Controller. Actually. <laughs> Thank you for listening to Actually Controller. If you liked what you heard, please consider following us on all our socials. You can easily find us on all the different platforms by going to linktree slash controller33 or scan the QR code if you are watching the video version of this episode. Thank you.